Hi. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. And it's time for my Sunday afternoon What's All video. Um, I did a little bit better maybe than last week. Not by much, though. So this week I did uh, get the numbers together that I'll tell you after uh, I show you what I sold and what I did gross and what I did, what it came down to being what I actually made net. And there is a little uh, app to figure that out for eBay. Uh, Poshmark already figures it out for you. You don't have to do anything, but it, I keep this on the desk so I don't lose the uh, uh, the dot com address of it. It's called Final Fee Calc, C A L C, Final Fee Calc dot com. And if you just type that in Google, it'll get you to this little uh, app. Or it's not an app. It's actually you can do it on your phone or your desktop or anywhere. But um, it's a little web page, I guess. And it figures out uh, you fill you fill in your your the price you got and the shipping that the the person paid the buyer paid if they paid the shipping then the shipping that you actually paid when you printed out the label and then the fees it asks you if you had a store what you know what kind of store and if you're a top seller that all matters. The only thing it doesn't figure in is the promoted listing fee. It doesn't ask that, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't figure that out unless it can it automatically figures it out somehow with the eBay fee. I don't know, but I don't see how it could, especially if you're changing the number all the time. Because a lot of people change the numbers all the time, depending on what the item is. And if you have it set on trending, which I still do, I've meant to turn it down. I have to do that today. Let me make myself a note. Uh, promoted listings. <clears throat> I wanted to take it off trending and because I've tried it uh, on trending for the good two over two months now. It's since before Christmas, so almost three months. So um, I'm going to put it back down to like, I don't know, three, four percent maybe. I forget what Bumblebee said to try. Uh, I have to go back and look, <laughs> look at our notes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try it now on lower and see if it makes any difference at all because I don't think it's made one bit of difference. Uh, my sell, my uh, sales have been mostly terrible, so I don't know. Maybe they would have been even worse without it, but who can tell? So I'm going to try it at the lower number and uh, see where that takes you. But... Let's uh, share the screen here. There's nobody here. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. Um, I sold. I forgot to count here. Let me count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 20 eBay items I sold and one Poshmark item. So 20 eBay is up maybe two or three from last week. Uh, I forget I didn't write down how many, but it was low. It was over 15, which was the weekend before, but or the week before, but it wasn't, I don't think it was 20. So maybe a couple better. So, uh, I don't know, I just got a dingle. Let's see if that's anything special. Uh, I did text my daughter. 
Oh, she just gave me a okay. I texted her that I was going to be on YouTube till five, about five. So she doesn't try to call me because I shut off my phone and uh, or put it on airplane mode and then the calls don't come in. And then if she tries to call me over and over again, uh, she thinks something is wrong. So I usually give her a little text when I'm going to do this. Uh, I could tell you about my pin I have on. There's a story here. Uh, I've always liked this little pin. It's a dragonfly. I'm not sure if you're supposed to wear it going up like that or turned around and like flying down. But after I was divorced from my first husband, there was a period of time where I dated, of course. I went with some guy uh, for a long time and then I met my second husband and went with him for a long time. But in between there, I went, I, I dated several guys. And one of the guys I dated for a few times, not that long, gave me this little dragonfly pin. And he was pretty well off, I think. Who knows? But uh, he gave me this pin. I just assumed this it was gold. I assumed this was like, 14 karat or I, I assumed it was gold and it has a little stone in that I assume is jade in the middle there. Okay, all this time I've had, I never really looked because I wasn't into checking jewelry that somebody would give me at all. So I didn't care. But since I was putting things on eBay, Going into my jewelry box and putting things on, I was going to list this. Well, I am going to list this. And I was looking for the mark. There is no mark. <laughs> this isn't gold. It looks like gold. It really does. It's just gold tone metal. And maybe that is jade, but uh, it's not gold. And I thought, hmm. <laughs> but I got enough gold stuff when I met my husband. My husband did give real gold. And he would give me rings and, and uh, not my engagement ring, but different rings and bracelets and things. And usually I never wore them. He should have uh, realized after a while that I didn't really, I wasn't a jewelry person. There were a couple necklaces that he gave me that I wore all the time. I would wear one necklace just all the time. And that's just what I wore. I mean, I was in a profession being a nurse that you just don't wear jewelry to work. And I don't know. I wasn't really into jewelry. so. But he did give me a couple nice pieces that I did wear. Uh, off and on. But a lot of the things I didn't. So they may be going on, I don't know. I don't know if I want to sell uh, my husband's things that he gave me since he's passed now. Uh, I don't think that would be a good idea. I'll just pass them down to my daughter. <laughs> so I don't know where everybody is. It's 4 o'clock, guys. I'm here. It's now 4.10. <laughs> I think everybody's going to watch the replay. So I met as well. I did go. I did earlier today. I went to the barn and uh, spent a couple hours with my horses. So that was nice. Uh, it's, I started to groom them and then, uh, it was their turn to go into the arena and I'd rather play with them in the arena. So I took them into the arena and, uh, it was only those two in there at first. And Echo had a huge knot in his mane 
Echo the Black Horse is part draft, and he has Clydesdale in him, but he looks more like he's part Frisian. And I don't know if you know what a Frisian horse looks like. Those beautiful black, big horses with those huge manes and huge tails. He has a huge mane and a huge tail. His mane, because he's always swinging his head around, if he swings his head around like that, it twists his mane, and he's always getting these big knots in his mane. So I'm always having to uh, undo knots from his mane, and there's a secret to doing that. If you, if you have uh, a horse that does that, I don't know if anybody watches me. He has horses, but uh, the solution is called cowboy magic, and it's a detangler, and it's a really slippery type of uh, liquid, and you, you put it on a good amount on, you rub it in really good on the knot, up and down the knot, and let it sit there for five minutes or so. And then when you try to get out the knot, hair by hair, a few hairs at a time, it's, they just slide out. It's so much easier. So I got the knot out all by but a tiny bit at the end, which I did cut off. You can't tell. This mane is huge. <laughs> but uh, I got the knot out and played with him in the arena. I did take some video. Maybe I'll put it on. If you see a little video of my horses, it's only like a two-minute video. I was actually seeing how my quarter horse was doing because um, he was having a little trouble with lameness. He's old and he has arthritis and he has uh, navicular, the start of navicular, not real bad. And his trot was looking terrible, terrible. So I had uh, her start him. I called the vet and got and a new medication that just is a pill that gets crushed up in his food every morning. And it's just like, it's like an anti-inflammatory or a, sort of like a pain type for, for pain. He is doing so much better since he's on this. And this is something that he, he'll be on the rest of his life. It's, it, it costs like, a dollar sixty-seven a day for this, but oh my goodness, what a difference between the uh, videos that we did right after Christmas and the videos I took today of him trotting! Huge difference. So I'm so happy with that. So even though I was giving him an injection every single month, once a month he gets an injection. And that's also for their joints and that. But I wasn't seeing that much difference. And it's expensive. Each injection is $50, $58 or $53, something like that. So I give it. So it's cheaper for me to give it, of course. And to, uh, But I still have to get the vial of medicine from the vet. And that's what cost 50 some dollars. So I don't know. I skipped it this past month of February. And he's only on this equi Equiox, it's called, the pill. And he seems to be doing really well. So I don't know if I can just have him do the one or whether I should keep up doing both. I don't know. But anyway, I will start my share of the closet and show what I sold and hopefully somebody will see this sooner or later even if you come in afterwards after uh, and watch the re uh, replay if you watch the replay and you've never seen my videos before or my YouTube uh, channel uh, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to work my way up to a thousand subscribers and I'm only a quarter of the way there. <laughs> and also if let me know if you like it. 
or if you don't like my videos. So it helps. So I'm going to share the screen. <clears throat> and go to the first item here. Okay, this first item was a J. Crew uh, women's size 12 linen uh, blouse, and it pulled over the head, and it had some little, at the neckline, it had uh, some little pleats there at the neckline. And that sold, uh, we're starting from the 24th, which was last, this is left from last Sunday after the video. There's some left from last Sunday. Is the 24th a Sunday? Let me see here. Maybe not. No, Monday. Okay, from Monday till whatever sold today, which has been nothing. So this is Monday through yesterday, Saturday, these sales. So uh, J. Crew sold for $17.50. That was a best offer that I took. And out of the seven fifty, after after doing the uh, the shipping amounts and everything else, uh, I netted twelve dollars and fifty four cents. That's what I made uh, on that. So the next item is a pair of uh, men's jeans by PacSun, uh, active stretch skinny jeans. They were size 32 by 30, and those sold for $24.77, and that is because I sent an offer out to watchers, and all the offers I send out, I end in 77 cents, so then I know that that was an offer to watchers. They, somebody accepted it, and uh, after shipping and everything, I actually netted $17.90. The next item is this little game. Every once in a while, I sell one of these games. For a while, I was picking up games uh, to sell. I didn't do too well, so I sort of have stopped doing it, and they are a pain to ship. A lot of them. This was a little one, so it was okay. Uh, this sold for the asking price of $14.99, but I had free shipping on it. So I actually, because of the shipping, it cost me $5.08 for shipping. I only actually netted $4.95. So that wasn't even worth uh, putting on. That's why I don't do games anymore. Okay, here's a J. Crew extra small vintage cotton uh, scoop neck um, little uh, tee. It was a it wasn't really a t-shirt because of the scoop neck, but like a t-shirt with a scoop neck. It was navy, and that sold for fifteen ninety nine, and I netted twelve dollars and nine cents for that. Fifteen ninety nine was. Maybe that was a sale. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was. That doesn't sound like a uh, best offer. So I might have. That might have been a sale price that I had on it. A uh, pair of Lucky Brand men's jeans, thirty by twenty nine. These were uh, distressed jeans in uh, a one eighty one. These are relaxed straight leg. Those sold for twenty sixty nine, the regular sale price on those. And after shipping and everything, I made fourteen dollars and twenty one cents. Here's a uh, Poshmark. This is my one and only Poshmark sale. It was an anthropology brand. It sold for twenty dollars, and out of twenty dollars, I made sixteen dollars because. Uh, and uh, Poshmark takes 20% flat out, so it's easy to figure out. And uh, it's all written down when they send you the slip with your packing, uh, your mailing label in it. Very easy. 
Uh, here's a pair of Palazzo pants. Uh, I didn't stretch the lower pant out very much. They were much wider than it looks on here. But they were a zebra print in a size 2X. And they went for uh, $15, which was a best offer. And uh, they paid shipping on that. And I made $10.19. And I think, Bumblebee, you sent me those pants, I think. <clears throat> and here is the second uh, sack, the sack uh, purse that I sold. This was the red one. Almost kept this one. It's a really nice. Um, I like these these purses. They're like big bucket purses, and uh, this is a shoulder shoulder purse, and they hold a lot, and uh, very soft leather. So that sold for $25, the same as the first sack uh, purse, that one that looked like straw but wasn't really, that uh, variegated different colors I sold last week. This one sold for the same thing of $25. And after uh, everything, I netted $19.67. Ellen Tracy, this is an extra fine wool, uh, merino wool, little sweater. Uh, it was, this was a small, it doesn't say the size on here. Oh, it's so small. Yes, it does right there. It's a size small uh, in this pretty pink, dark pink color. It sold for the sale price of $22.49. And after shipping and everything, I made $17.65. That. And here's a pair of Nike soccer cleats. These are a child size, two and a half youth. Now these, <laughs> I learned something from these little shoes because actually I had bought these shoes for my nephew. Not my nephew, my grandchild. Jack, my grandchild, because he was playing baseball, okay? So I thought these were baseball cleats. This is how I learned the difference between baseball cleats and soccer cleats. Now, by cleats, they're a little soft. Uh, they're soft little nubbies, okay? Now, the soccer cleats uh, don't have a, a little cleat on the toe, See up there, there's no cleat. And the baseball ones have a, a, a cleat, and that's to, for them to dig in when they go to run, dig into the dirt. That's what I learned. So I now I know the difference between soccer cleats and baseball cleats. Baseball have the toe cleat on them. So... Anyway, they sold for $13.49. I had had them forever and didn't really buy them to sell. I just put them on. They had been on forever uh, because he certainly doesn't wear that size anymore. And they went free shipping, which I didn't realize. And I only made $3.57 selling these little shoes. So they weren't really worth putting on, but... They're not on my shelf anymore. Okay, a pair of uh, Athleta women's size extra, extra small. These were uh, black knit uh, pants, and they sold for a best offer of $18. And she bought them. I accepted the offer, even though I really didn't want to because it's a good brand. But I accepted the offer, and then she took forever to pay. In fact, I think she just paid yesterday. But I did uh, net $11.97 on those pants. I probably should have held out, but I didn't. Here's a little pair of short shorts by Lauren, Ralph Lauren. These are a two uh, petite. Uh, they were white with sort of a floral design. 
uh, on them, little mini cutoffs. And those sold for the sale price of $16.19. And I made $11.82 on those. I actually made a few cents more than I made on the Athleta pants. See, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, it's good that I made it on the shorts, but. Okay, here's a Victoria's Secret. This by Pink. Uh, they're lined pink, and this is in a small, a little baseball shirt type thing. It had pink written all the way down the arms, three-quarter sleeves, and that sold for $17.99, the sale price. And I netted $13.26 on that little shirt. Now, a pair of Coach uh, Leopard Print sneakers. And uh, Bumblebee, I think you sent these to me. And I did take a best offer of $25 on these. And I netted $18.14. But these are really cute uh, shoes. And when I looked up Coach shoes, their shoes really don't do a tremendous amount. Actually, their purses aren't doing that well anymore either. And I'm always afraid to put the purses on. I don't buy the purses uh, because there's a lot of uh, fake ones out there. So I don't want to get drummed off of eBay because of that. So, But I think the shoes are all right to put on. But they sold, and uh, I made $18.14. Here's a Torrid uh, Women's Black Knit had a, like a crossover front on it, and it was a cold shoulder. I needed my daughter to model this, but she wasn't around, so it's hard to show on a mannequin. You can't really show it on a mannequin, except that way, <laughs> which doesn't really do it justice. But um, that sold for a best offer of $19.00. And uh, I made $13.57 on that. Okay, here's something I had around the house. I didn't even know I had it. I don't know where I got it. But this opens up. And this is a compass. It's a professional folding mirrored sighting compass. Clinop. 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 Oh, I can't even pronounce that word. Whatever that word is with the C. I <laughs> can't pronounce it right now. Uh, anyway, that sold for $24.77, which was an offer I sent out, offer to watchers. Somebody bought it, and uh, when it came through, uh, it was going to Kentucky, which means it went to the global shipping program. I don't know yet where it's going to head off to, but it sold for the twenty-four seventy-seven. I only paid shipping, or they paid shipping, to get it to Kentucky. And actually, I made a couple dollars on the shipping. And then they will have to pay from the sh uh, Kentucky to wherever they're from. And I netted $23.76, and that may be the most I netted on anything. And it's because it was from my own house. I paid zero for it. Well, at one point, I probably bought it. I don't, I don't remember where I got it at all. Who knows? It could have been my husband's. <laughs> Okay, here's a Foot Joy medium men's polo shirt. This was stark white, all very nice and white uh, uh, golf shirt. And that I did, did take a best offer of $18 on that because I thought it should go faster than it did because Foot Joy is a pretty good uh, brand, especially since spring and summer is coming up and golfing season's coming up. I thought it would sell much faster than it did. It kept sitting around, sitting around, had watchers on it, but nobody pulled the trigger. So finally, 
somebody did offer me $18, which I did take, and I netted $12.58 for that. Probably another thing that I should have waited till summer for a little bit longer. Uh, here's a sweater. This was a long sleeve sweater with a mock turtle net in this bright uh, red by Designers Originals. And then this was a new with tags. And uh, this went for the sale price of $20.69. And I netted exactly $14 on that item. And that was the second time I sold that. I sold that once before, uh, and it came back because it didn't fit her right or something about it wasn't right. And so it was the fit. So she paid for the shipping back. I just relisted it and sold it again. So, All right, here is a little skort, a little mini skort, new with tags by Head. Head is a, a sports brand. I know it from skiing, but they make all kinds of sport brand things, I guess, because this is a little like a golf or maybe tennis. It's a little sport. But it sold for um, a best offer of $19. I took on that, and I netted $14.33. Uh, J. Crew, this is an extra large men's uh, blue chambray shirt, uh, short sleeve. And that I did take a best offer of $19 on that. I'm not very patient. This is another one that could have sold better come warmer weather, but I took it. Uh, $19. I took $19 best offer, and I made $14.33 on that one, too. So, a pair of born shoes. Uh, these are size 8. Uh, they're still sitting back this table and behind me because they haven't been paid for yet, but they did, they did sell for $24.29, and I'm waiting for them to... Oh, no, wait. No, she offered me 1922. I think that was what she said. 1922. And uh, she sent me a note that she needed these flat shoes because she has MS and da da da. So I took the her offer and uh, but now she hasn't paid yet. But she only bought them. Uh, day before yesterday, so I hope she pays today so I can close the books on this week. Uh, so that is the last thing. I haven't sold any more today, which is a shame. <laughs> so let me get back here. Uh, stop sharing. Here I am. And I have... I have written out what I did. Of course, Poshmark's easy. I sold one thing. The gross, the gross was $20, and I netted $16, okay? On eBay, I sold 20 items. Uh, that came out to counting the shoes. I'm counting the shoes, hoping that they'll pay for them. Uh, $381.78 is all gross uh, all week and I only netted two hundred and seventy dollars and forty one cents put together with the sixteen dollars it comes to two hundred and eighty six dollars and forty one cents so if I have four weeks like that it's never going to pay my board for my horses <laughs> so Things have got to start picking up, eBay, or you people out there that buy things. Hi, Posh Planet. Hi. I don't know where everybody is. Yeah, it's been a slow month for you too, huh? Yeah. Maybe March will be better. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do. 
anything different than what I'm doing. I know I have to list more because uh, the thing about listing things for my house, it's taken me forever to research things and I haven't been getting things on. I haven't been listing things. Uh, so it's so much easier now that I went, uh, I went and got stuff from Goodwill yesterday. I have that stuff. Bumblebee's sending me a box. She says she's mailing it tomorrow, Monday. So in a few days, I'll have a box from her. And tomorrow, I'm also going to Goodwill and get some more things from the other Goodwill. So I'll have lots of things uh, to photograph and list. And that will, I will be able to list faster when I have uh, the clothes that I'm used to listing. Hi, Karen. You're watching on your TV. <laughs> oh, you show. Yeah, I'm watching on my TV, so I don't think I show up. You're showing up here. Now. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I hope things pick up in March. Uh in February or March. This is the last of the first quarter this month. So hopefully it'll pick up. I'm trying to uh, put different things on. Some of the things I'm putting over on Poshmark too. Not all the things that I'm getting from my house will go on Poshmark. But some of the things. Like the jewelry I cross posted over there. And I put a china some China things I'll cross post to their home. Uh, they have a home page now. Besides men's, women's, children's, and now they have home page where you can put dishes and that type of thing. All kinds of stuff. So I'm putting some things over on Poshmark, but some of the things that I find around the house that I'm not going to put over on Poshmark. So, uh, like I said, uh, I did go to the barn today and play with my horses. I did take a little bit of video. It's only a couple minutes long, but if I get that up and edited, I may put a real quick video on this channel. If you see a quick horse video, it's only like two minutes. But... Echo was doing something really funny. I have a, uh, it's a stick. It's a long white stick. I used to follow Clinton Anderson. Probably nobody here, if you don't have horses, know who that is. He's a clinician. And there's several. And uh, I followed Clinton, uh, his teachings a lot. And I bought some of his equipment. And one of them was this, this stick that... Uh, you can put a rope on the end of it. You can do all kinds of things with it. But my horses know what that is. And when I go out into the arena with them, uh, because I'm not that steady on my feet anymore, I just feel more secure if I have this white stick because they know what that is. They know if I wave it this way, they should go that way. If I wave it this way, they should go that way. They know to back up when I do certain things. So if Echo comes running at me. If I would hold the stick up, he would know, you know, he better stop. <laughs> I don't want to get run over in the arena. So I just feel more secure with it, that's all. <clears throat> I probably don't need it, but anyway, he likes to take it away from me. He likes to take it with his mouth. Uh if I put the video, you'll see it. He puts it in his teeth, and he uh, holds it, and he, he goes up and down like this with it, like he wants to be the boss, and he's trying to move his brother around. So it's really funny. He does it. He tries to get the stick all the time. So I did take some video of that, and I took some video of my horse, my older horse that is moving much better since he's on a new medication. So that's what I really wanted to tape. So anyway, I may or may not put it up. I'll have to look at it first. So 
I'm going to eBay, and uh, not eBay, I'm going to uh, Goodwill tomorrow. So I may have a uh, haul video tomorrow, later on tomorrow. And then, of course, on Wednesdays. Uh, maybe that'll be the box opening. So I do have things coming up. So keep in watch for on my channel. And that's about all for today. Uh, everybody, you like to see the horse, yeah. Um, Dexter is sleeping. The chickens are out in their run. I'm hoping they don't uh, break out of the run. It's funny, when the chickens see any movement in the house at all, and they can see... They must keep an eye on the windows at all times. When they see me move past the windows, they all come running to the fence. They, every animal that I've ever had are so, they, I've given them treats for everything, you know, and they, everybody thinks they're gonna get a treat all the time. So even the chickens, I'm sure that's why they're running over to the fence. So anyway, I'm going to close, and I will see you all maybe tomorrow, and for sure on Wednesday. So bye.